Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jay Seskazo from Too Fresh, and this is my video marketing workshop. It's my belief that every single business should be using video as part of their marketing strategy. We set up the business in 2009, and we were drumming this message even during the economic downturn, which was the financial crash. And we have many parallels to today. Now, whether you're a charity who's trying to raise funds, whether you're a solopreneur who's promoting a coaching business from home, or whether you are a multinational organization that has thousands of staff, video is the most powerful marketing tool we all have in our arsenal. And it's my mission to create a legacy of videos that have a positive impact on people's lives. So whether you are that charity or whether you are a corporate, it is our mission to help you use video to really help you get your service out there. Whatever the impact is you're trying to make, we believe that video can help you achieve that. I believe that facts tell and stories sell. Stories are what get people to really make the next step in a purchasing decision. They create emotion, they create confidence, they create laughter. Stories are so powerful and if you're not using storytelling as part of your marketing strategy then we need to find a way that we can incorporate that into your marketing strategy and it's my belief that until you have a powerful marketing strategy that works your business will always struggle to produce the leads that you want in this seminar i'm going to teach you our proven system that will produce you leads that are easier to close the reason they're easier to close it is because they have been better warmed up and they are your perfect target audience. So who's video marketing right for? Number one, ambitious business owners. Number two, people that are great at what they do, but three, who are ready to invest in their business. Whether, you're ready, whether that means time or money, there has to be some level of investment into your business. So quickly about Too Fresh. Uh, this is myself and Andy back in 2009 when we set up the business from a video marketing point of view we were shooting all types of content and helping our clients get that content out there using social media channels now a lot of our learning and philosophy come through someone that we worked with a guy that some of you may be familiar with Gary Vaynerchuk he runs a social media marketing agency based in New York one of the biggest in the world and a lot of our teachings and systems and strategies that we implement we learn um, through working with him and through studying his work and delivery for his clients just over the past 10 years here's some of the clients that we've worked with we don't have any niches that are particular we've worked with several different industries in several different sectors um, and we believe that agnostic approach gives us a really well-versed um, skill set in communicating through the power of video but more importantly it's because our system works across all sectors so in this workshop you're going to learn the power of video marketing best strategies to produce content right now and our five-step video marketing system which we have been using and successfully getting results for our clients for so why video? Well, video, a website that has video content is 53 times more likely to reach the first page of Google. Um, that is a big enough reason for itself, but that's just one of a hundred reasons why video is such an imp powerful tool. Think about it. People remember 20% of what they hear, 30% of what they see, but an amazing 70% of what they see and hear combined. Video is the only medium that allows you to do this. And I come back to the fact that people buy on emotion, but we justify with logic. If your marketing is not creating emotion, then it makes it very difficult for people to justify buying your service or your product. These are the top marketing struggles that we see companies that ain't using video. Um, and firstly, it's around positioning themselves correctly. Their content struggles to do that. Um, explaining their true value. Video is a great way to explain your true value. Making their website a constant lead generator. 
video is proven to make websites convert more inquiries. Think about it. If someone looks at your brand and your competitors and your competitors has video content on it and yours doesn't, whose does it make it more easier to choose? Who looks more trustworthy? Attracting the prospects you want. Video is a great way actually to reject the prospects you don't want to set yourself at a certain level to make sure that you don't receive any time wasters for your brand, your product or your service. Making you stand out from the competition. It's very hard when we sell products that are similar, that don't have much things that differentiate ourselves. So sometimes video is the way to make ourselves stand out and make ourselves really shine in a crowded marketplace. And making the time to consistently have marketing that works for them is a big struggle that we see and brilliant thing about video is once you create it and once you run an ad campaign that video is a salesperson that is working for you constantly so our, here's our golden rule around video give content that creates value to the consumer so think about your business how can you create video content that gives value to the consumer so here's some examples within the beauty industry. Now, these are probably well known to some of you or maybe not, but tutorial videos are one of the most powerful ways that the beauty industry is utilizing video marketing. I just wanna talk about a little case study of the Fenty brand, which is part owned by Rihanna. She released this one video in collaboration with Vogue magazine um, and it's a tutorial of how she does her daily makeup 10 minutes long on YouTube um, and it's had 29 million views so far now this is the type of content that Fenty has been doing since it launched and in a short period of 18 months it has it, um, created a revenue of 570 million pounds just in a period of 18 months for a strategy of tutorial videos and influencers reviewing their products. Simple strategy, not very expensive to produce, can be produced via an iPhone like this video, um, can be edited together with even a student or yourself, but it is one of the most powerful ways to get your product, your brand out there. In these tough economic times, um, we have to be creative. We have to find ways uh, to partner up with people who would maybe how could we maybe give people our products for free so that they could review them less maybe look at um, influencers on Instagram that are perfect for your target audience there is enough resourcefulness within us to still execute video content that doesn't break the, the bank you can hire a video agency like us and we can produce it ourselves but sometimes DIY content is actually the most effective or it is an effective place to start until you can afford to pay an agency like ourselves to produce content how to videos grow by 70 percent each year on youtube have a think about it when you want to discover how to do something youtube is one of the first places that we turn so if your brand and your business isn't on youtube what are the potential revenue streams that you could be missing so tutorial videos influencer videos this is a must for any beauty brand my second tip in terms of the type of content that is really powerful at the moment is content that answers your clients questions so what are the top F and Q's you get asked now when you're selling your product or you're promoting your product you should know this you should have a bank of questions you get asked and these can be just general information questions or they can be what we call in sales objections so you know oh i like this but what what happens here or does it come in this certain color or whatever it is if you create short form videos around it from a minute to three minutes long you'd get the top 10 quick um, ask questions within your 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 product or service you create that video content again simply effectively diy style 
and then you upload that video, those video content to YouTube, to Instagram, to your website, you will see that this is one of the best ways to get a, a powerful ROI um, from your video marketing. And the reason why is because people want answers. Content should be solving problems. So if people have certain questions around your service or product and they find you rather than your competitor because you've taken the time to create a minute to three minute long video, then they won't forget that. And they will then end up creating some brand loyalty with you, engagement with you. And that's how you turn someone who is just someone searching for information and help into a customer. So a quick tip, there's a website called also ask.com. It's a free website. It tells you the most asked questions within your sector, your industry. So for example, if you type in what is video marketing, it will give you a list of video marketing questions that people search for. That should give you some information around what type of content to produce if you already don't know the most asked questions within your industry. And our third tip in terms of what type of video content you should be producing is the testimonial video. This is cross sector. It doesn't matter what you sell, what industry you are, your clients on camera raving about your products or service is the best and quickest way to get a return of investment from video marketing. Now, we are big advocates of this ourselves. If you go onto our website, twofresh.co.uk, you will see a list of our client um, testimonial videos. And when we implemented testimonial videos into our own marketing, we saw a huge return of investment. Our website produced five times more leads than before we had our testimonial videos on there. And personally, when I'm in a sales presentation and I show testimonial videos, it helped me close 25% more leads. And the reason why is because people trust peer recommendation. It's social proof. Um, it is the most powerful tool you can use when it comes down to video marketing. It will literally get you more sales. Um, in this current climate, again, if you can't afford to invest with a company like ourselves to produce that type of video content for you, what I suggest is that you self-generate it. You, it. Well, in this time, it's a bit more difficult to actually go and shoot your clients, but ask them to send in a testimonial video yourself. Um, they can shoot on their iPhone like this. They can send it in and it is great marketing material for you to use. I promise you, even webcam or iPhone or iPad short content of your clients raving about your services or products will be powerful tools for you to use. Um, there is certain questions that they should answer and certain things that they should say. And if you want to see, if you want to speak to me around what that material should be, um, let me know and I'll be happy to email you a template of the type of material that you want them to say. So just to recap, the three top video marketing strategies I think you should be doing is tutorial videos, question FNQ videos that answer people's questions and testimonial videos. Get your clients to send in testimonial videos. So look, whether you invest time or money, you need to choose which one it's going to be time if you're doing it on a budget yourselves money if you have the resources to use a partner agency like ours so now i want to talk quickly about our five-step process because this is a proven process that i want you guys to use when you're thinking about what your video marketing plan should look like so step one is discovery really clearly define your marketing goals who is it that you're after what type of um, client is it where do they buy? Think about your audience. Really understand what you want your goals to be. Step two is define that audience. Knuckle that down. Where do they live? What platforms are the best? Is it going to be Instagram? Is it going to be Snapchat? Is it going to be TikTok? Is it going to be LinkedIn? Think about the platforms where your target audience lives and make a decision around where you're going to um, market towards them native content is better the you know marketing on the platform that they're on is what makes sense but you've got to do a bit of research around where they are where they're spending their time where their attention goes 
Step three is the creative. What type of video content are you now gonna produce based on the research around your audience? And whether that is um, using an agency like ours or whether it is you producing it yourself, make sure that you've done a bit of research, you've looked at example videos of what's working in your industry, what's not working, um, and do use maybe our free um, suggested videos as the starting point. Step four is creating the content and distributing it. Make sure that whatever you produce, you put a little bit of money around distributing it if you can afford it. Even just a little bit of, of funds around video marketing and will make a difference to the amount of exposure it gets seen. So if you do have a budget, I do recommend doing a little bit of video advertising, whichever platform that is on, whether it's Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Insta, um, that little bit of budget on advertising will make a huge difference. And step five is measure the impact. What's the engagement been like? Try different video split testing. And then once you know what works, which is creating the most engagement, which is creating the most traffic to your website, then you can double down your efforts onto that. So that's a really quick rundown of our five step process. Guys, this is a seminar that I usually run in an hour, so I know it's been uh, quite rushed through, but I hope you found that useful. Um, please do message me and let me know what you did find useful. I'm happy to answer any questions you have. And if you felt that you found value from this, even a, a little nugget or so, do leave a recommendation on my LinkedIn page. Thank you.